I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Seems so pretty bad. As soon as you came in the door, I just wanna chill, got a sack for us to roll. Married to the money, introduced her to my stuff. Showed her how to whip it, now she remixing for low. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Slim Roche here, aka Jasmine, and I am back with another video. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can join the gym squad. And if you're interested in how I achieve this matte, fall, neutral, glam, everyday, slay, whatever you want to call it, please keep on watching. For today's video, I'm going to try and talk through the video instead of doing a voiceover. So you guys let me know in the comments if you like this style video or if you prefer the voiceover. Before we get started, make sure you go ahead and subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if you like makeup tutorials like this. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. So lately I've been trying out a few new drugstore products and for my brows, I've really been liking the elf ultra precise brow pencil and this is in the darkest shade that they had brunette and i'm just gonna brush out and fill in Y'all, so a lot of the time when I'm excited to do my makeup, I always go into the brows and I forget to prime. Um, a primer that I've been using is the NYX Honey Do Me Up. And this primer is very hydrating to the skin, especially because the weather just wanted to skip, hop, skip, and jump past fall and just go straight into winter. This is very moisturizing to the skin but it also kind of dries down so it's not oily. And it kind of gives me a feel of like aloe, like an aloe leaf plant. And it is just so moisturizing. And it has these, I will say it does has the, it has chunky glitter, like gold glitter in it, like a, drugstore YSL primer, but it doesn't show through the foundation, so I'm not mad at it. So we're gonna let this dry down. Get you a fan, sis. Speeds up the process. So now I'm gonna conceal my brows. I'm bringing out an oldie but goodie. This is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC45. And I usually say I don't use MAC because I don't but this concealer is the exception. So this makeup look is like a neutral glam. So it's something like you can do it in time enough to make it to work, but you can also wear this, you know, to happy hour when you getting some appetizers after work. Okay, appetizers for half all. Oh. This is also a good glam look if you're going to like a little holiday party or a little luncheon or brunch or something at work where you, where you wanna let them know, you know, Y'all y'all know me, but y'all don't know me. Yeah, like y'all don't know this side of me. Like y'all get the work me, the tired, exhausted me. But don't sleep, cause I got a whole nother side of me. I'm just talking that talk now. So now that we have the brows all carved out, I'm just blending that concealer down on top of my lid. I do have lash extensions on, so shout out to Bold Minks. Um, but you can just put mascara on or strip lashes if you want. And then we're just gonna do this neutral face beat. So I like to mix the NARS um, Radiant Foundation 
Natural Radiant Foundation in the shade Macau alongside with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and this is in the shade 385. And I like to do like some pumps on the back of my hand. Or I did a few more pumps of the NARS than I used Fenty and then I just mix them together with that same concealer brush and then just kind of start painting it on. Now we're just gonna blend that out. By the way, all products that I'm using in this video will be listed in the description box. So after I start blending it out with a brush, I go in with a blending sponge and blend it out even more. Okay, so we are looking radiant and well blended. For concealer, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the shade Fawn. This is also an oldie but goodie. Disclaimer, you do not have to use this much concealer. I just like a super highlighted face and I'm just blending that out. I'm gonna go ahead and blend the nose out before I had too much product on this one. Mm -hmm. This is like a snatched I don't even know, I done told y'all this is an everyday neutral glam but holiday party, but I done told y'all this is all kind of looks. So we gonna, finish, we gonna figure out at the end what kind of look this is. Cause honey, I don't even know. Okay, so now that we have the face blended, I'm gonna set my face with the Sasha Buttercup Loose Setting Powder. You do not have to blow it off like I do, you can tap it off on the back of your hand, but I'm not pressed about blowing on it. So you don't wanna go too heavy handed on the powder in the winter because you don't wanna feel like you dry and cracking. So you have to gauge it based on the oiliness of your skin and not based on like how much I'm applying. So I'm gonna only let that sit on there while I bronze slash contour my face. And for a bronzer, I'm using the Black Radiance Pressed Powder um, in Bronze Glow. And this powder really like bronzes up the skin well. You don't even have to dip in it too much cause you already get like a very good payoff. And this is gonna give you that bronziness to the skin. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and put some powder on the side of my nose, some of that bronzer. And then to deepen it up just a little bit, I'm going to go in my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and use a little bit of the Sculpt and Contour shades, just a little, cause these are very pigmented. So now I'm just gonna dust off all of this excess powder and I do like to use my Sephora Micro Smooth powder just to do this. You can use any like skin toned 
uh, pressed powder, but this is a very good one. And you wanna make sure you get all of that excess powder. So right there, boom, you could, you could just stop. You could just, you could just, beep, beep, beep. You could just stop right there, cause I look good. I look great. I look good. I look great. You look good. You look great. You look good. You, you look great. So you really could stop right there, do a little uh, setting powder, and or I mean, do a little setting spray and be on your way. But I like to further warm up the face with the nude, uh, this is the nude blush palette from BH Cosmetics. And it's like the 10, Shades, I take like these two on the end that are a little bit more neutral and I dust a little bit of that on the apples of my cheeks. So we can look a little bit more rosy. In a wake. A live awake alert enthusiastic. I'm a live awake alert enthusiastic. I'm a live awake alert. I'm alert awake alive. I'm a live awake alert enthusiastic. I could be a singer, ain't it? I'm just playing. I can't sing. But so the base looks really good. You know, like I said, we can stop right there. I'm gonna use a little bit of my oh my god. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Oh, yes. Love that. That's why you need your fan. Shout out Cantu. If anyone gonna ask me where I got this fan at, I got it at Curlfest. So I, you can get them at your local beauty supply store. Not that one specifically, but just in general. So I'm gonna take, um, I'm just gonna go back in the True Complexion Contour Palette and just take a little bit of the Sculpt Shade and dust it over my lids. Just so they don't look bare. Finally, the last thing I'm gonna do is highlighter and we're gonna choose a lippy. We're not gonna do lip gloss since it's win fallish winter. We're gonna go and we're gonna do a matte lip. But we're gonna highlight first and I'm gonna use a subtle, actually why not, let's just use the highlighter in the True Complexion Contour Palette. This is not a subtle highlighter, but it gets the job done. It's usually beaming. I gotta break this one in. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna grab a lippy. Hang tight. You know I might go glossy now that I'm looking at my lip options. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna take the Sephora Rogue Gel Lip Liner. This is in the shade Molasses to line my lips. And this is very deep, but I love these pencils because you can like twist them up instead of having to use a pencil sharpener. And they glide on the lips really good. And I need a new one, cause it is almost out. So now that we have that on, I'm taking the Morphe, um, this is like their li matte liquid lip in the shade True Story. And Morphe has some really good uh, liquid lippies. So I'm gonna take this one Fairly nude. Love that. Oh, y'all. Do we like this nude? Are we here for this nude? Are we here for the matte? I think we're here for it. Oh, well, I was about to switch it up and put a little gloss. Should I put a little gloss? Should I do a little gloss? I a little gloss. I don't know if I should do a little gloss. Cause we haven't gone matte in a while. Mm, should I? Stop. Okay, we're gonna stay matte. It's fall, we're gonna stay matte. I'm gonna take a little bit of Taunt, which is a little bit pinker, 
and just put that right in the middle. And blot it. Y'all, I'm here for it. We're snatched. We're snatched. We look good. We look great. We look, we look ready for fall, even though fall's not here. We are ready for, you know, coming to meet the parents. We're ready for it all. Holiday parties, a slight glam, sleigh. I still don't know what I'm gonna call this video, y'all, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little makeup video. I guess it would be a neutral fall, everyday makeup glam something like that but yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a huge thumbs up that's how i know you guys like these makeup videos by you guys hitting that thumbs up button also if you've watched thus far sis bro go ahead and subscribe just join the gym squad the gym squad is basically our whole little community on my channel of beautiful people who are gems. Gems like G-E-M-S. Y'all are gems. And I love you guys so much. I say that all the time. I really do love you guys. I think that wraps it up for this video. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you head on over to Insta and follow me at Slimmer Shay. And guys, never forget, at the end of the day, without regrets, love yourself. And be you, Tiffle. Bye, guys. <laughs>